do you comment with style, Freedom Family? Do you stand out using bold, italics, strike through, timestamps, and other things to help your comments stand out down there to help you get more views? Let me show you how. Do you notice this italics of The George Show? How do I do that? Well, let me edit my comment and show you. That's it. You put underscores before and after the thing you want to italicize, then it becomes italics. How do you bold? How did Shout Out Sunday become bold? I just added asterisks before and after. That's how you do bolding. And how did I make this clickable? If I click 257, it jumps to 257 in the video. Well, there's no special code for that. You just type something that looks like a time code and YouTube will automatically make that clickable. Let me summarize it all. If you want bold, you put it in asterisks. If you want italics, you put it in underscores. And I haven't shown this one to you yet. If you want a strike through, just put it in dashes. And a timestamp, you just type the timestamp. And if you want a link, like if you want a link to freedom.tm, just type the link and it'll automatically become clickable. There you go. Bold. This is italics. Strike through. Here it is. 257 timestamp and www.freedom. TM, which incidentally is our website where you go to partner with freedom. We are a family and just like this tip, we help you grow together as a family. Let's review. Bold italics, strike through, timestamp and link. How else do you comment with style? Tell us in the comments below so we can all help each other grow together. Now let's get on to featuring your comments and channels. Let's start with Gary the Digger. He made a very funny comment. Do you accept unborn children into the Freedom Network? Well, of course we want to get them while they're young and if they're still in the womb, even better. As Luma Master replied, well, if they have a YouTube channel, sure. <laughs> I'm not sure sperm are smart enough to operate a computer, replied Gary the Digger. You make a good point. Luma Master said, either way, if they inexplicably have a YouTube channel, I suppose they can be accepted. I'm not sure what kind of content they would have on their channel, if any. Probably sports, like swimming. Well said, Gary. I imagine affording the microscope and camera is a pain for them, though. And of course I replied, lol, I love the comments replying to your question. This conversation will be featured on the next episode of the Italics George Show. Done. Next comment. Kratos Orion Plays uses timestamps to tell us what he's commenting about. And I encourage you to do the same. Whenever you comment on a video, put a timestamp that represents the point at which you're commenting. It makes your comment a lot more meaningful so people understand what you're talking about, what point of the video you're talking about. Ultra Dragon 313 is talking about the Play Now feature. What is Play Now? Click that I up there to learn all about how Play Now is a new revenue stream for the Freedom family. And he would like to have game recorders, capture devices, equipment for videos like cameras and microphones, maybe editing software, and maybe games to promote in his videos. That's a long list, and we'll do our best to get you all that stuff. We're going to start with What the Fast, and followed by Tridef Smart Cam. Who knows what that is? Tell me in the comments below. And many other products. In the past, you've asked for Razer products. One of you commented you already own half of all the Razer products, so you already make videos about them. And we're going to try to get Razer, and we're going to try to get many more. Next comment is by Ashley Silverdust, our beautiful Ashley, who's always commenting in every video. Hooray for 150K subs. Did you know Freedom Central just crossed 150,000 subscribers? Go to youtube.com freedom to find out. Play now sounds neat. It'll be interesting to see 
in seeing what kinds of things we can promote besides What the Fast. Loot Crate and Audible.com are popular for deals like that. That's added to the list. I shared a lot more of your feedback about Play Now in that video up there. Click that eye to read a lot more interesting points about Play Now and products that you want us to carry. Luma Master issued a challenge. He said, probably nobody will respond to this comment. So of course, we had seven responses just to prove him wrong. And he was basically talking about one question, which is, what is your biggest asset to growing on YouTube? So Rise Elite said a big asset in growth is quality and what videos you make, to be honest. Universal Unicorn said his main asset is simply enjoying what he does and interacting with his viewers. Quality is also a big asset. Perez wrote, a big asset of mine is to keep my videos at high quality. I'm not sure if my recent ones are, but I keep trying my best with adjusting settings to make them more clear and entertaining. I've been doing the same, guys. I'm using OBS multi-platform to keep tweaking my green screen settings and lighting for improving the quality of The George Show. I'm still using my C930 Logitech webcam and the Blue Yeti microphone for my audio, but the lighting is always a challenge. I found when it's daylight, it's more, it's, it's a better quality. Right now it's pitch dark, and so you're getting a little bit of the green around my ears and my head, but when the lighting comes from the outside, I've learned it makes a better quality green screen. And I replied, my main asset is your comments. Where do you think I get most of my content for The George Show? It is reading your awesome comments and featuring your awesome channels. So that's my biggest asset. That fuels every episode of Italics, The George Show. And Zorgant, Zorgant said his main asset is the fact that he's a member of freedom. Best answer. <laughs> and he has all the knowledge of years of experience at his disposal. He's slowly learning and implementing and growing. He said last week he was only at 19 subs. What are you at now? 41. Let's check out your channel. What are you doing to grow so quickly that we can all learn from? I welcome you to my channel. Here be Let's Plays, gaming tutorials. Very clear. Twitch streams, game demos and more. Oh, I like the chocolate part. For that, I'm gonna subscribe. Kidding. You should subscribe to a channel only if you really like its content. Don't do sub for sub. That's a terrible way to grow your subscribers because they don't subscribe for your videos. They subscribe for your subscription, which is terrible. What he's done well, he introduced his channel. He showed gameplay footage, or he showed footage of the videos that he has on his channel, which is primarily gameplay. He used YouTube cards to link to the videos that we can watch if we want to see more. The thing I would encourage you to do is get one of these. Say it with me. <laughs> pop filter. Your audio has a lot of pops. That can get very annoying after listening to a lot of it. A pop filter will solve that. They're fairly cheap. And if you want the cheapest one, a sock will do. Uh, no kidding. Just put one of these over top of your microphone and it's a pop filter. Uh, hope this helps, Zorganth, Zorganth. Let's have a look at your video thumbnails. So the thumbnails are quite a variety. Uh, I would encourage you to improve your thumbnails because they're hard to read. The text, like here, my Minecraft Xbox One Let's Play, it kind of blends into the background. Torchlight is more readable, and some don't have any text at all, like this one. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I, I see it's Ark Survival Evolved after reading the, the title. But good thumbnails should have, at a glance, you should be able to understand what that video is about. Next spotlight. Talents with an X said, Hey George, could you go over my channel for my first video and my newer video? Let's have a look so we can all learn from this. Here's your first video. Hey, what's up, guys? This is on the video. Sorry. On Fire Engine. I'm so sorry about the bad quality. 
clearly a very old video where you're even using a video of your video screen. Let's have a look at your newer one. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? My name is Talents and today I am bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video is on a story, a pretty embarrassing story. Uh, as you can tell by the title, it's very impressive improvement. A few tips. You have a lot of background noise. You can use a noise gate to remove that. And if you want to learn about noise gates, just search for it on YouTube. There's a lot of videos explaining. But background noise shouldn't be there. And you're not using any music. How come? All I hear is your audio. It makes a big difference to add some quiet music in the background so we can still hear you clearly, just like I do in The George Show. Let's have a look at your channel talents. I wanted to dedicate this song to Tico because he's made a lot of changes in my life. He's kept me in a positive attitude every time Hi, I was Tico. down, and I love you, Tico. I know my terrible singing might portray it in a wrong way, but I love you, man. Well, look at that, guys. 69,000 views. When I subscribe to you, my mama told me, keep on making vids and your girl to be like, like him. him. When, when I subscribe, I subscribe to, to you. you. Sing along. So if you like Tico's channel or Talent's channel, click that eye up there to see the full channel trailer as well as his videos. Let's preview your thumbnails. Oh, you have some Vivo branding. Why is that? Uh, Vivo is a trademark. You shouldn't be using their logos in your videos, but I'm curious why you did. Tell us in the comments below. So you have clear text in your videos. This says YouTuber impressions. Can't miss that. This is a great uh, video thumbnail. Strike. Very powerful. It's really caught my eye and my attention. Also, my first event. Very good video thumbnail. I'll, the only thing I would encourage you is to add some consistency to your thumbnails so they're not so different. And just like you've done with Vivo, I encourage you to add your own brand, your own mark, your own stamp into the corner of each of your thumbnails so people can see you, who you are, in a list of thumbnails more easily. Hope this helps. Freedom Family, keep sending us down there in the comments below your best video and your first video so we can all see how we grow and watch each other's videos. Give each other feedback and comments so that when you post yours, others will do the same. We all can help each other grow together. And if you haven't already done so, introduce yourself at www.community.tm. Community.tm is our community forum where if you click forums, you can get a lot of people to help you grow. Simply introduce yourself right here and there are now 125,000 members on these forums who can help you grow. That's almost as many subscribers as we have on Freedom Central. So get noticed and post on www.community.tm. And who am I? I am this guy. <laughs> I am George, Papa George, George Sanpai and many other names the Freedom Family has given me. I am George, CEO and founder of this beautiful family called Freedom. And you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.